Hello guys, welcome back and in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can install Spark Linux on VirtualBox. It is in, it is an OS which is made by Linux and it is based on Debian. For now guys, let's get started. And for that, you will need to open your browser and type. You can also use Chrome but for now, I'm using Microsoft Edge and Spark Key Linux. Key. Yeah guys, here it will appear and just click on it and this website will appear. You can also get it from the link in the description below. But if you want to do it manually, just follow my steps. You first click here on the Sparky and you can also see Powered by Debian and if you want, you can read about it. But for now, I am going clicking on this download page and click on close. And then I am choosing stable version. And yeah, guys, here are many different ISOs of that same Spark Linux in different images. But you can choose any one you want. But for now, I am choosing XFCE version. And there are two XFCE versions ISO image, which is from SourceForge. Or OSDN. I am going for now for SourceForge. But if it does not work, then you can go for OSDN. <coughs> yeah, guys, this download has started. I don't need this. I'm canceling it because I've already downloaded the file. And now, once you have downloaded the file, just click on New and type Sparky. E Linux and it's Linux but don't choose this and go and select Debian 64 bit and click next and click memory size I'm choosing it 4 GB if you want you can also choose it as a size you want but you have need to minimal of 1 or 2 GB and now click next I'm choosing get hard disk now and click next and I'm choosing this virtual hard disk and now click next and one more just leave default and click next and yeah now allow the size I'm choosing the size of 64 GB you can choose it as the way you want I click now create and this is up here now go to settings go to advanced and select both of these two by directional and go to display and select it video memory to 128 MB Go to system and I'm choosing a 2 processor and storage and select the ISO file. And just match the settings with me which I have created because you, if you want to run your Spark Linux smoothly you have to follow these settings which I have done. And now once you have done, now click OK. And this will appear and now all you need to do is just click start. <coughs> Yeah guys, now it has screen is up here. And now, just click enter. And here some commands are going to run. And yeah guys, as you can see, the starting has appeared. Spark Linux. And just wait for it guys. Yeah guys, now the commands are going to run on more time and now the, my Spark Linux is going to boot. Yeah guys, you can see, here is the pointer. Yeah guys, now I don't want to show this message again, so I'm clicking this. And here appear welcome. And if you want, you can go here and there with help of these. But if you want to just cross, yeah, cross click on cross. I want to home with this. And now, if you want to 
see how it is then you can go and explore it but for now I am going to install it now just double click on this and this is appear yeah guys welcome to spark 6 portolo installer and I am choosing I have not plugged in my laptop to power but if you want you can plug in also and now let me click next and I am choosing the time zone to Asia and I am, as I am living in India so the zone is Kolkata <coughs> click next and I am choosing English US as it matches with my keyboard layout and now click next now I am choosing erase disk and yeah, you can see that this is selected VBOX hard disk 64 GB which we have created and if you want you can also change it like to swap to swap with hibernate swap to file but for now I am choosing it no snap and now just click next and choose your name I am choosing my name as Parky for now and the password I'm using at 1234 because the simplest password and I'm using it for this educational purpose you can choose a password as you want but you have to remember it and now let me just click on these two tick box if you want you can undo the one taking but I'm choosing it because the same password will be for the administrator account which is this and login automatically without asking for password yeah when because it's because when I going to install it and when it's going to restart then it will not ask password now click next and just see all these settings if this matches and here just click next and here it started installing till then you can also change the screen size to like let's go to settings and go to display and then you can change the screen size as my laptop screen is 920 by 180 it is not appearing so I am choosing the layout which is matching the most so this 680 by 1050 then here you can see it has all most taken the full and now keep this configuration and I am going to full screen And here guys till then it it is installing you can like this video and subscribe to my channel and also guys here you can see the menu here it is and you can check the all application recently used and here about me what xfc let me click and see what's this and here about the desktop environment device lives os name and here it is yeah, as you can see memory 4.6 GB here it, the memory which I have given to spark Linux and here it is and as you can see I have using the Ryzen 5 and I have given two processors with so x2 and credits core developer and here are the developers name <coughs> and Debian and about and here it is and here guys as you can see and the windows there is microsoft office and the linux is libreoffice and like here the libreoffice draw i don't want these tips so i'm doing this and here you can see Here's the LibreOffice draws layout. <laughs> okay, let me see. Yeah, guys, now 13% is complete. And now 14. Till then, I can also explore this OS more. Like, here's the LibreOffice.
here is the writer document calculation spreadsheet and etc yeah guys it's the same it is almost same layout like the microsoft excel but it's libreoffice calculator <coughs> And yeah, math formula also. And yeah guys, and here as the web browser, browse the web. And yeah guys, it's using Mozilla Firefox, which is all. And the search engine is DuckDuckGo. And like if we here you can see, in this search is DuckDuckGo. And if you see a new tab here, it's the Google as the main. But if you will click on the open it, the first page will appear with the Sparky. And you can see after box fire was thunder mail library office begin and next chat and pre-install sparky so I can immediately with desktop and internet. <clears throat> And here you can see is the home. And yeah, when the download is complete, my name will appear here, like Sparky. And you have, to, if you have typed your name, the name will appear here. And yeah, 69 GB volume. Yeah, guys, as you can see, the my the Spark Linux install is complete. And now I'm restart now. Just click here and done. And yeah, guys. Here you can read, please remove the live medium, close the tray if any and press enter to continue. Yeah guys, let me check the my ISO which I have selected. Yeah guys, yeah, as you can see if there is a tick mark on your ISO, if you have tick mark here then click on remove hard disk but in my case there is no tick mark here so I am just clicking enter but if there is tick mark in your, just click remove from optical drive. <coughs> And yeah guys, now it has loaded.
here guys now you can see my point has appeared and here you can see the layout is now coming and now let me change the screen's layout go here and I don't know so let me close it and go here and then go to settings and then go to display and then let me select 680 by and here it is guys the configuration which I selected and now you can also change the wallpaper you want to scroll here and desktop and yeah guys here you can see the wallpapers and if you want you can change it too I don't want to update but if you want you can update it too for now let me select this so yeah guys and let me now exit this so yeah guys have your reviews on this OS please tell me in the comment section below and if you want you can subscribe to my channel or you can just click on another video to keep watching thank you and bye bye